the explosion of postcards and audios and 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 radio suddenly and online videos uh what would you say that you've learned that you can tell our listeners about uh audio and radio ads under the microsoft compared to to tv ads ah right yeah so so radio ads are quite interesting and and have a unique potential to trigger personal memories there's this system in the brain called the mirror system and that is constantly modeling the behaviors emotions and and experiences of the people that are around you uh, as if they're your own so what it would what would it be like to be you know hitting that hammer or you know picking up that object the brain is doing that non-consciously or smiling um, so the same thing happens with sound as well so when you hear something like you know a door slamming or or an instrument playing the brain is automatically modeling the behavior that's behind that uh, that sound but when it's when it's just sound it's your own imagination so that's unique to radio ads uh, when you are presenting a soundscape uh, it's creating a very personal experience for the individual whereas of course when it's a video ad you're forcing a, a visual context uh, that is going to you know, have personal res uh, uh, resonance in, in some way but it's not purely the person's own imagination for what's happening and so that gives uh, radio a, a really unique opportunity to be intimate to really be personal uh, and that combined with the fact that you know hearing you can't shut off you can always close your eyes uh, but when you've got the radio on I mean, you're just being fed information and and we know from lots of research that even when we're talking or paying attention to something else if you're hearing sounds you're being influenced uh, by that non-consciously uh, so uh, so it's a very powerful medium for delivering uh, branding messages absolutely so how can brands work with uh, a great audio choice versus something that is not good well i i think it comes back to consistency so uh, we just know the way the brain works is uh, that it identifies patterns and it builds these networks of association so it makes perfect sense to use the same kinds of soundscapes online or, or on radio as you would in video uh, so the similar music ideally the same music uh, obviously same sonic brown branding elements uh, the voices of characters it would just be great to have the, the look and the feel be continuous and, and consistent from uh, the TV to radio to online presence and so on uh, so I think that's that's a real key that uh, can be challenged to maintain because sometimes the, the team working on radio is not the team that worked on the TV ad and, and so on. So uh, kind of coordinating across all of the, the marketing folks uh, can have a really big payoff for brands.